Hello and welcome to Easy Finance. Today we cover the inspirational story of Gatin McKenzie on how he turned his life around from earning 150 rands as a gang member per week to accumulating a net worth of over 75 million rands as of 2024 reports. Gatin McKenzie, in a bid to escape poverty, became a gangster in his teens. He was making around 150 rands per week as a gang member while other kids were paid around 10 rands per week working at a local cafe. After serving a prison sentence for bank robbery, he took a new leaf and ventured into a fishing and poultry business, making him a rent millionaire. He further built his net worth by authoring and publishing bestseller books and owning a mining consultancy company. Now a quick disclaimer before we get into the video. These videos are only for educational purposes and please don't forget to subscribe, like and share the videos for more stories like this. Gaten McKenzie's net worth in 2024 is estimated to be around 75 million rands. Now while he made huge money from gangsterism in his youth, he squandered it on lavish lifestyle. After gaining parole in 2003, it was hard for Gaten McKenzie to find a corporate job as an ex-convict in South Africa. He was then advised to go into public speaking. Initially, he attached no charges to his motivational talks, but later on, he started charging per hour from 5,000 to 50,000 rents per hour. Now, along the line, Gatin McKenzie was motivated to write about his life story, and his books sold thousands of copies. Now, since this, Gatin McKenzie has written over five books to date. As a businessman, the Bloemfontein native has since invested in diverse businesses, including mining, publishing, fishing, and poultry businesses, as well as a nightclub business. Now let's take a look at some of the revenue streams that account for his staggering net worth. The first income stream that we'll take a look at is public speaking. Gaten McKenzie is one of the most sought after speakers in South Africa. After his release in jail in 2003, he embarked on a national campaign to combat the high levels of crime in the country. He became an advocate against crime and thus visited many schools and universities, giving inspirational talks with his life story. He also addressed parents and business people with his hard-hitting and engaging speeches. When he first started speaking at schools in Cape Town, he collected no money for his services. He then spent some years without taking a single day off and invested much time in training himself to become a great speaker. After gaining momentum steadily, Gaten McKenzie decided to start charging 2,000 rands per talk. He later increased it to 5,000 rands per talk and was still getting fully booked. As a result, he made his talks more expensive and was still even booked more. This made him braver and began to charge per hour. At some corporate talks, he would charge over 50,000 rands per hour and some companies were willing to pay that. Now over the years, Gatin McKenzie has addressed more than 2 million South African school children and partnered with various corporate sponsors including Jack Sports and Education Foundation, Chap Electronic Security and Nike. McKenzie was also voted as the top corporate speaker in the country for several years. Additionally, he has had international engagements, speaking in countries like Greece and the United Kingdom. The second income stream that brings McKenzie millions of rands every year is publishing. Gaten McKenzie published his present autobiography entitled The Choice, The Gaten McKenzie Story in 2006. At first, he printed around 10,000 copies which were sold out and another 40,000 copies which were subsequently sold out. As the demand for the book was getting higher and higher, he joined forces with his business partner and best friend Kenny Gunen to sell the books to schools. They sold the book everywhere in South Africa and sometimes slept in the car where they could not afford a hotel. Now inspired by the book's anti-crime message, the chief executive officer of Central Rent Gold, Craig James, bought around 80,000 copies of the two versions of The Choice in June 2007. He donated the books to the schools in the Western Cape. Interestingly, McKenzie's autobiography was a bestseller. He additionally wrote two other best-selling books including A Hustler's Bible and The Uncomfortable Truth. Now, the first run of the book titled A Hustler's Bible recorded around 20,000 book sales in three days as the esteemed speaker sold his books at every one of his speaking gigs. Some of the other books that McKenzie has written include Trapped, a Hustler's Bible, The New Testament, Kill Zuma by Any Means Necessary. Gaten McKenzie 
used the money realized from the book sales to start up a small mining consultancy. Also, together with Kenny Kunene, he established a publishing firm called X Concept Publications. Now, another way that Gatin McKenzie makes money is fishing and poultry business. In the early 2000s, Gatin McKenzie partnered with Kenny Kunene to start up a fishing and poultry company. They initially sold fish and chicken from the boot of their cars before buying four trucks for the business. They also hired a refrigerator warehouse which helped the business to thrive. Now, the 50-year-old made his first 100,000 as well as his first million from the fishing and poultry business. Eventually, he and Kenny Gunene sold the company for profit to venture into other businesses. Gatin McKenzie also makes a lot of money from his mining business. Gatin and his friend Kenny Gunene co-owned a mining consultancy company. The firm helped Central Rand Gold, which began working behind the scenes in 2006 to obtaining a mining license, get the mining rights in November 2008. Central Rand Gold reopened a closed historic mining shaft in George Harrison Park near Rivalier. Gatin was employed by the mining company in 2006 as the group executive and was in charge of social development and community participation. He reportedly received share options worth hundreds of thousands of friends, and also at the time, Gatin McKenzie's net worth was boosted by the monthly salary of around 243000 which he earned for his role. However, due to the differences he had with the directors, he left Central Rent Gold in 2009. In the next year, McKenzie and Gunene started a mining operation in Zimbabwe. Gatin McKenzie later took international football legend Luis Figo to his gold mining project at Fox Rickson, a mining area about 77 kilometers northwest of Bulawayo in Zimbabwe. He later secured funds from foreign investors and also clinched up a startup funding of about 140 million rands for a 700 million rand mining project in another African country. Furthermore, Kenny Gunene and Gatin McKenzie became part owners of about three to four companies. Also in 2010, their mining consultancy was hired by Goldfields to convert a mining license, which they did in six months. Subsequently, Goldfields asked Gatin McKenzie's firm to identify empowerment partners for a 9% stake in its South Deep mine. Now, their consultancy company put a deal worth around 2.1 billion rands together and charged north of around 2 million rands a month for its services. However, Gaten McKenzie was accused to have handed his friends stakes worth around 330 million rands from the deal. He later opened up in 2013 stating that the controversial BEE deal ruined his reputation as Central Rand Gold was allegedly under pressure from the government to include specific shareholders in the deal. And when the deal went wrong, fingers were pointed at him. Consequently, he had to close down his mining consultancy because of the negative publicity that it generated. And last but not least of Gaten McKenzie's businesses is his controversial nightclub business. McKenzie was the chairman of Zar Lounge, a popular upmarket nightclub in Cape Town. He co-owned the club with his best friend Kenny Kunene. The businessman later opened the Zart Lab in Johannesburg and further planned to establish the brand in Devon and Mozambique before its closure. Although McKenzie made a lot of money from organizing Zar Fest, which was operated by his company, Zar Empire, he shut down Zar Launch in October 2013 to focus on politics. He made the decision after the night lab was taken to court by Cape Royale, the residents over unpaid rent, levies and electricity bill totaling to almost 1 million rents. He eventually settled out of court with Cape Royale, the residents, and then lost interest in the nightclub business. Now we cannot end the video without shedding some light on Gaten McKenzie's entry to politics in South Africa. On the 30th of November 2013, Gaten McKenzie launched a political party called Patriotic Alliance together with Kenny Gunene and other politicians. He was elected as the party's first president while Gunene serves as the deputy president. Now in the following year, the party contested in the national and provincial elections in South Africa. Now later in April 2022, McKenzie became the mayor of the Central Garu District Municipality. Before then, he served as, a, as the representative council for the Patriotic Alliance in Linesburg Council. 
Now, on taking up the mayoral role, the millionaire businessman announced that he would only stay in the office for one year. He also pledged 100% of his salary to fix the municipality and refused a state vehicle. Now, a few months later, Gaten McKenzie was accused by the South African Communist Party of misleading the people. Afterward, he disclosed his payslip and payment record on Twitter, keeping to his promise not to use the municipality's money to work. Gaten organized the Centen Gala fundraiser, from which he realized around 3 million rands. He was, however, accused by his political rivals, being the DA, of embezzling the money after he was run on May 2023. The Democratic Alliance demanded answers about the missing millions as the money was never transferred to the municipality's bank accounts while it was intended to be allocated towards service delivery in the district. Mackenzie's spokesperson later disclosed that the money was paid into the PA's legal trust account as the former mayor had repeatedly hinted that the officials in the municipality were looting millions from the bank account. Additionally, Gaten McKenzie and Gunene, who were reported to be friends of former President Jacob Zuma, were linked to a 5 million rand BEE gas deal with Rosego, a Russian firm, in September 2017. The two were reportedly introduced to the Russian state geological company as potential BEE partners by then Security Minister David Marlobo. McKenzie, however, denied the report and stated that he does not do business with the state. Now, a few skeletons still follow Gaten McKenzie up to date, which includes an apartment overlooking Cape Town's V&A waterfront. In 2021, it was reported that his 1.6 million rand house located in Randpeg Ridge in Johannesburg was on the verge of being repossessed by NetBank. It happened that he used the property as a covering mortgage bond for the 1.2 million rand loan his company, x Publications, took from NetBank in 2008. It is reported that his company failed to repay over 700,000 rands outstanding balance of the loan. As a result, NetBank filed a lawsuit against X Concepts Publications at the Jobeck High Court and asked the court for an order to auction Gaten McKenzie's house to offset the debt. Additionally, Gaten McKenzie is reported to own several properties around the country. When it comes to cars, Gaten McKenzie owned a white Audi R8 Spider worth around 2 million rands. With it, he attended Dudu Zule Zuma's wedding to businessman Lonobo Sambula in April 2011. He, however, wrecked the car beyond repair on his way back from the wedding as the supercar flew off the roads, crashed through a fence and stopped in a field. Afterwards, it was speculated that Gaten McKenzie was planning to buy a multi-million rent Maybach limousine at the time, but the rumor was never confirmed. Furthermore, in 2018, he showed off one of his cars, a white BMW E30 325iS on Instagram, and the car was valued at over 400,000 rand. That's all we had for you regarding the life of Gatin McKenzie. Please let us know under the comment section if you found his life to be inspirational as he moved from rags to riches. And while you are at it, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the videos.